What's up guys, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, everyone, I'm going to be doing a review of Oracle VirtualBox. Yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, first with VirtualBox, when you first download it and load it up, this is the screen you will be presented by. You can see, um, all your options and stuff, um... And I will go ahead and read this. Welcome to VirtualBox. The left part of this window is a list of all virtual machines on your computer. The list is empty now because you haven't created any virtual machines yet. In order to create a new virtual machine, press the New button in the main main toolbar located at the top of the window. You can press the F1 key to get instant help or visit www.virtualbox.org for the latest information and news. Um, so yeah, as you just saw, you press this button to start a new um, virtual machine. Um, and right here it says you can press F1 key to get instant help. So I will go ahead and do that. So F1. See, so yeah, right here is just a, um, it's just the manual for, um, virtual box. It's just showing you how to do everything. This one, um, looks to me like it is a, they're doing this in a Mac computer and making a Windows 8, um, virtual machine, which is pretty cool. Um, well, uh, yeah, you can see your options right here. Um, this is the, already the uh, details tab, but the snapshots, you will not be able to select that. Um, I assume until you create your new virtual machine and stuff. Um, all right, so now let's check out what is in the file. So in the file, we have preferences, import appliance, export appliance, virtual media manager, network operations manager, reset all warnings, and exit. Um, let's go ahead and jump over into the preferences so I can show you guys what this looks like. Um, so yeah, right here, um, um, this is the prefer preferences for the, um, you know, input, language, display. This is just sh um, for, like, where do you want to save um, the real file um, to your main computer. Where do you want to save it to? Uh, you have also got proxy extensions, network. Um, See, so yeah, in general here, this shows you the uh, default machine folder. So mine is in um, Home Tech Bismo Virtual Box VMS. Um, yeah, and uh, VRDP authentication library. Library, sorry, um, VBox off. So yeah, don't don't change any of these settings um, unless you really want to change the directory of where your virtual machine files are. Um, let's go ahead and check out this right here machine. Okay, so right here you have new, you have add, and um, a lot of these down here are not highlighted, which means you cannot select them until you have created your virtual box. So yeah, um, as I said, you've got new, add, settings, clone, remove, group, start, pause, reset, close, discard, saved, state, show log, refresh, show in file manager, create shortcut on desktop, and sort. Um, so yeah, the two options you have in the machine tab is new and add. And in the help, um, we've already gone over this. You just press the F1, and that will show you the manual and help of stuff you need. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and show you guys how you can create a virtual box, a virtual machine. So right here, you've got the nice-looking new button, um, and you will just go ahead and click that. And now you will be presented with this little window, and it'll say name and, and operating system. Please choose a descriptive name for the new virtual machine and select the type of operating system you intend to install on it. The name you choose will be used throughout VirtualBox to identify this machine. And um, the example I'm going to be using in this video is going to be Linux Mint Cinnamon. Um, I've got the file downloaded onto my computer. Um, so yeah, if you want to do something like Windows, you've got, um, it's already um, by default set to the type as Microsoft Windows, and then you just go to the version tab, and then you select your version of Windows, so it could be other Windows 64-bit. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You've got Windows 10, Windows 2012, not sure what that is, Windows 8, 8.1, uh, 7, Vista 2008, XP 2003, 
uh, 2000, NT4, Millennium Edition, 98, 95, 3.1. And, of course, you've got that option, uh, those two lonely options at the bottom, other Windows 32-bit and other Windows 64-bit. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, um, so, you can go ahead and select Linux um, if you are doing um, Linux for this tutorial. Uh, so, now, you go to the version tab, and um, I told you guys that I am going to be doing Linux Mint in this video, but um, in the version, it does not show up Linux Mint. The options you have is um, uh, Linux 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, Arch Linux, Debian, OpenSUSE, uh, Fedora, Gentoo, Mandriva, Red Hat, Turbo Linux, Ubuntu, Exandros, Oracle, and other Linux. Um, so, yeah, what do you do if... Um, what do you do if your Linux uh, distribution is not showing up? Well, duh, you go ahead and uh, go down the list and select other Linux 32 or 64. I'm going to be doing 64-bit in this video. You do not have to, just it depends on the file, um, the ISO file that you downloaded. So other Linux 64-bit, uh, you can see it shows um, Tux's foot. <laughs> um, so yeah, now you can name it anything you want. Um, I'm just going to name mine Linux Mint. But um, if you really sincerely want to, you can name it Bob. You know, if you really, really want to, you can name it Bob. So, um, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and name it Bob if you want. <laughs> so Linux Mint 18.2. Um, and then Cinnamon. So yeah, Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon. We've got all our uh, basic settings like that, and then you will click Next. And now this is the RAM, so memory size. Select the amount of memory, RAM, in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine. The recommended memory size is 512 megabytes. Now, uh, by default, it will, uh, it might be set by 512 megabytes. I'm assuming yours will be set to 512 megabytes as well. It might depend on the RAM you already have. I'm not 100% sure, but as you can see, mine by default is 512 megabytes. And what I'm going to do is 4 gigabytes, so um, 4192, or 4096, I meant. Um, yeah, you can also do 2048, um, 1024. But yeah, I'm going to be doing 4 gigabytes, so 4096. And I will, yeah, 4096, 4096 um, megabytes is exactly 4 gigabytes, so 4 gigabytes of RAM. All right, go ahead and click Next. Now this is the hard disk um, setup. So hard disk. If you wish, you if you wish, you can add a virtual hard disk to the new machine. You can either create a new hard disk file or select one from the list or from another location using the folder icon. If you need a more complex storage setup, you can skip this step and make the changes changes to the machine settings once the machine is created. The recommended size of the hard disk is 8 gigabytes. What I recommend to you guys is, um, if you're doing something just very light, I recommend to you guys 12 gigabytes of space. Um, I'm going to be doing probably 12 gigabytes in this video. Um, and if you want to do something like, um, don't do this unless you really want to. This, uh, don't, do not add a virtual hard disk. This will, um, just be for, you know, trying a Linux distribution. You won't be able to install it onto a virtual hard disk. You will only be able to boot it up onto your current USB, um, and select the try setting. So, yeah, you will not be able to install it because you will not have any space, uh, onto the, uh, virtual hard disk. Um, so yeah, the recommended size of the hard disk is 8 gigabytes, and I'm going to go ahead and select create a virtual hard disk now. Now, uh, using, using, use an existing virtual hard disk file. I wouldn't recommend that unless you definitely have one, um, but I do not have one, so I'm going to do create a virtual hard disk now. And now, uh, just in case, guys, I will show you what do not add a virtual hard disk uh, says. So it'll say, you are about to create a new virtual machine without a hard disk. You will not be able to install an operating system on the machine until you add one. In the meantime, you will only be able to start the machine using a virtual optical disk or from the network. So that, um, if you don't know guys, that just basically means um, it will only allow you to um, 
try it on a USB or something. Alright, well, not on the USB, on the um, ISO file that you downloaded, and it will store it into the RAM. Alright, create virtual hard disk now, and create. So, um, right here, it'll say please choose the file type that you would like to use. Um, I recommend VDI virtual box disk image, so just leave it by the default. Uh, the, def the default will be VDI, so yeah, just go ahead and click next. And right here, storage on a physical hard disk. Uh, please choose whether the new virtual hard disk file should grow as it is used, dynamically allocated, or if it should be created at, at its maximum size, fixed size. So, uh, dynamically allocated, that will be... Um, the that will be um, Oracle picking uh, how much space you want and I'm going to do fixed size in this video so fixed size will let you choose how much space you want alright file location and size please type the name of the of the virtual hard disk f disk file into the box below or click on the folder icon to select a different folder to create the file in. So yeah, we're going to name it Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon, just like it is. And let's go ahead and do 10 gigabytes, 10.32 gigabytes, what the heck. <laughs> um, now, this is weird, it does show 2 terabytes, but if I select it all the way up uh, and try to create it, it will not work. Um, because I do not have a 2 terabyte hard drive, I just have a... Um, 256 gigabyte SSD, so I'm only able to do uh, small amounts, so yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and create. So this will take a couple seconds depending on how big your the um, storage is going to be. Um, and since we selected fixed size, it's going to um, take a couple seconds, so you can see 12 seconds remaining, and up here it says creating a fixed medium storage unit. Um, slash home, slash techbismo, slash virtualbox, VMS, slash Linux Mint 18.2 cinnamon, slash Linux Mint 18.2 cinnamon dot VDI. Um, so yeah, a few seconds remaining, 91% complete, 95, 96, 97, and we are done. So, um, yeah, here we are. So it will take you back to there if you did select the, um, a fixed size setting and um, that is what I was doing in this video and also right here you've got the vi the video memory settings so you can go ahead and change that and how you do that you just click right here on display um, and it'll automatically take you to the display and you can turn up the video memory and for now I just do 32 megabytes you can also do you know remote display video capture all of that also this you can add, you can change the RAM up if you made a mistake while creating it in the processor. You can add more cores, and I'm just going to leave that at one since I really, I'm just making it for this video. Alright, so now, you can see my video memory is 32 megabytes. Now, what do you do if you want to go ahead and boot up a Linux Mint file or any um, ISO file? So, you, if you see here, I just click start, it is not going to do anything. It's just going to sit there and it's going to come up with a error. Fatal. No bootable medium found. System halted. So, how do you fix this? You will go ahead and go to, when this is selected, you want to go ahead and click this settings. And now this little window will come up. Um, so just go over here to the storage tab and then click on that. And then right here where it says controller IDE, you want to go ahead and click on that little CD right there and click add. And you'll see you are about to add a new optical drive to controller IDE. Would you like to choose a virtual optical disk to put in the hard drive to leave it or to leave it empty for now? So choose disk you want to select. And now let's go ahead and search for my Linux Mint file. So there it is, Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon 64-bit. Uh, We've got our file right there. And... Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you just select that and then, uh, no, select that and then OK. And then go ahead and start it up. And this should work. OK, here we are. And you can go ahead and hit Enter to speed it up. And you can see, Welcome to Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon 64-bit. And start Linux Mint. Um, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. It's very simple to learn how to use um, VirtualBox and... Um, 
if you want to try, if you're a Windows user thinking of trying Linux, uh, some distribution or variation of Linux, um, yeah, this is a really cool software you can use to try it out. Well, guys, um, once this boots up, I guess that is pretty much it. Alright, so, were we a success? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Maybe? Aha! You heard that. You heard that sound. Alright, we are in Linux Mint in a weird aspect ratio. Now we are in a normal aspect ratio. You can see we've got our home folder. Everything, everything's here. And of course it's going to be a little slow because it's in a virtual machine, but yeah guys, that is pretty much it. I really hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, like and subscribe for more videos, dislike if you didn't like this video, and anyway guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Bye everyone!